for YouTube. I figured I'd do my video better late than never. I think it's about like 8 o'clock. Kind of slacked off a little bit today. But first, uh, before I get to my video, I don't know. Kind of made a cool little mount for my uh, camera. Where's my camera phone? Whoop. There it is. I didn't really make it. But, uh, you know, resourceful. This little clip. I'm going to turn my phone and lay it down on there. Works pretty damn well to get random angles like this. So, on today's video, let's see here, put that in the picture. it is time to do an axe, well, not really an axe, but like an axe sharpening video. So, first and foremost, let's just show you, it's dull, really, really dull. So I figure uh, it's a Harbor Freight axe, uh, I'm not really, not really familiar with sharpening axes specifically. But I've sharpened a few knives, made them nice, and I uh, want to try my sander out on uh, this to see how it'll actually work. Harbor Freight uh, Axe, Harbor Freight Sander. You know, I probably bought the eye protection at Harbor Freight too, because I'm not a tool snob, and uh, you know, use what works. Alright, so let's see if this works. looks really decent so let's see if this will even catch the light so this is old side and this is new side I already see a pretty decent edge there apologize for the potato camera I'll start doing this on something better soon but let's get to the other side tell you that there's a lot better chance of me cutting myself if I do that with any kind of pressure. Yeah, can't cut paper or anything yet. So we'll keep uh, going at it and actually adjust the setup so I the camera. And uh, see if I can get a nice edge to it.
as you might have caught there. At this 